right, guys. I want to make it. I want to make this video for people that are going through tough times or been through tough shit. You know, they say in life that everyone goes through tough shit, right? Um, but for some of us, if we're being honest, we go through a little bit worse of a time than others. So I'm gonna make this video for you. I'm gonna give you some encouragement. I'm gonna tell you some truths about your position and how your fucked upness or the things that have gone really tragically wrong in your life. Um, can be seen as a curse, but it can be seen as a blessing. It's, it's a blessing in disguise that you will never realize unless you decide that you're having enough is enough and you've been through that shit and you're going to do something about it. You're going to change. You're going to become more. And the blessing is, and here's the thing, like, we all go through tough shit, as I said, but most people don't have the motivation to make radical, lasting changes in their lives and really to find their purpose. People don't have pur um, passions. People don't have the, the willpower and discipline to find their passions, they don't have power to find their purpose, they don't have the discipline to um, really make the most of their lives and not regret anything. People don't have the discipline to um, give as much value as they possibly can to people to become as much as they possibly can. People just don't have that. And here's the thing, why would you have the discipline to, to um, why would you have the motivation to become more if life is just meh, just alright? Like, not really happy, but not really unhappy. You're not really happy, happy, la di da but you're not really miserable either. You're not really fucked up that much. There's no motivation there. You just, you go along, you do your nine to five, you go and get married, have kids, you have fun with your friends, look forward to Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, do the same shit Monday, Fridays, moan about your job, that kind of stuff. But there's no motivation. There's no inherent motivation to change unless things go drastically wrong in your life and you have a wake up call. Examples. I mean, I'm going to give you some crude, really bad examples like getting messed up as a kid and you, your, your dad, like fucking you as a kid or your uncle. You know, that's stuff like that. Like, getting cancer at, like, 30 years old, you know, and that changing your life. It's, like, hardships like this that really change, profoundly can change your life. But most people don't experience these kind of tragedies. Most, most people's experiences of tragedies is very, um, bland. Like, you're going to have people, your loved ones die. That's a contract. You're going to die, your loved ones are going to die. This is what normal people are going to have as a tragedy. But there are lessons to be learned in that, for sure. But it's almost like the, the worse the tragedy... The, the more, the, the greater the tragedy, the greater the suffering that you're in right now or have been in, the more motivation to change and it's not like a motivation like a, because you're in so much pain, it's like a motivation that um, like comes in, most people's motivation comes in waves, like your emotions come in waves. This is a different kind of emotion, this is an emotion, and this is why normal people can't stick with becoming more and um, they don't have the motivation that lasts because their motivation doesn't last, it comes in a wave, it comes and goes and comes and goes and they're not unhappy enough, they're not in the, the shits enough, the tragedy hasn't been bad enough for them to really have what I consider um, a different kind of motivation that people that, that have really bad tragedies do have which is not a, a, a tragedy um, motivation as a wave but a motivation as um, a permanent thing that constantly sits on your shoulder, like a, you know, chip, they say the chip on your shoulder, that's exactly what it is, you've always got the chip on your shoulder. If, you're, if you were in severe pain, or you are in severe pain now, then you always have the chip on your shoulder, and it never goes away. Like, you could become more, you can completely eradicate all the problems in years, it maybe take decades, but it'll always be there, and you'll always, um, as another side benefit, you'll have compassion for other people that are going through that position. Because people, another thing, people don't understand what they haven't been through. Like, I can't relate to someone if I haven't had cancer myself, I can't fully relate to that person, but you, not only we have the motivation and the chip in your shoulder permanently to become more, when you actually get to that position, whenever that, it's not really, you get to that position, but whenever you're actually at, like, a significantly high up and you can't remember, well, you can't feel what it was like to be what you used to be, what you definitely were, you'll still have the compassion and um, this this piece of you will, of, you'll see in other people that are damaged and be fucked up, you know, you'll see them, you'll see them walking around, that'll be you, and you'll want to help, and I think that's a really good way of finding your purpose, actually, like, Two things. Your purpose lies hidden in your wounds. That's number one. And some people have some seriously deep wounds. So they've got a seriously big purpose, right? Number two, I got this off a girl on Facebook once and um, no, she's still there. Shout out to Nadia, she's listening. But um, your purpose in life is to become the person you needed the most when you're going through the worst days of your life. Right? And, and there we go. If you've gone through some really tough shit and the worst days of your life, what did you need? Oh, become that person. And that's your purpose. I want to give you hope, like, I really do. There's, there's a lot of advantages you'll start seeing as soon as you decide, like, and not even decide, as soon as you, you know, you acknowledge the fact that all you have to do is, like, if you've had a really fucked up, if you're really tragic, whatever's gone wrong has gone wrong. You, first step, you have to admit it, you have to see it, 
recognize that you're different to other people in the sense they haven't been through that and then maximize the shit and make a lifelong decision it's not even making a lifelong decision just see other people see the hope from like a model a role model or see the possibilities that you can change and then the motivation will just come naturally you don't even have to try just be around people that are undamaged and that'll be the motivation see other people that are killing it in life and that'll be your motivation you, you won't have to summon the willpower that's the beauty of being fucked up you won't have to summon the willpower the willpower's there automatically it's really beautiful all right i wish you less pain beautiful journey and um peace